Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I want to tackle dust collection again. I'm up here in the upper portion of my shop, and currently I have a shop back what's underneath that cabinet, which is fed to a bucket separator, and then I basically have one hose going to the chop saw. But now I have the X curve up here, and I kind of got like a sanding station going on here with still the chop saw, of course, and then a router table over here. So I just basically need to plumb in a better dust collection setup. Now I'm going to keep the shop vac and the separators just matter of plumbing everything in and I also want to make some homemade blast gates. So let's get started. So the material I'm going to use to run this new dust collection setup is central vac pipe. And it's 2 inch pipe and what I really like about it is the fact that it's cheap. A 10 foot length of the stuff only runs about $7 so I think it's going to work quite well. Uh, to run it, all I'm going to do is get a quick measurements off the wall and kind of rough it out on the bench and cut it with the chop saw. Another great feature of the central vac stuff is all the accessories you can get for it. I'm just going to use these wall mount clamps that you can buy for like under a dollar to mount this thing to the wall. Once you get going on this stuff, it actually seems to go up pretty quick. It's just a matter of measuring out where you want your tees and then attaching it to the wall with the clamps. I should mention that I did end up going back and adding three quarter inch spacers under each one of these clamps and that just gave me more room to mount the blast gates later on. To build the blast gates, I started out by ripping some strips of half inch MDF. Uh, a few strips for the top and bottom of the gate as well as the piece for the gate itself. Then I could just bump my table saw fence ahead just a little bit and rip the pieces for the sides of the gate. And that should allow for just enough clearance for the gate to slide back and forth freely. It's just a matter of cross cutting all the pieces to length. The gate body is going to be three and a half inches long and then the gate itself will be seven inches long. Once everything was all cut then I just marked the center of one of the gate sides. And then I lined everything up the way it would be in what will be the open position and drilled a pilot hole through all three pieces. I then took one side of the gate and drilled a two inch hole which is going to be a snug fit for my central vac pipe. And then on the other side I drilled an inch and three eight hole which is a snug fit for my shop vac hose. And for the gate I drilled an oversized hole at two and an eight inches. Then I could go ahead and start assembly. I did this by first attaching the stops to either side of the gate by just using a little bit of glue and some pin nails. Then sandwich the gate in between two side pieces and one single piece of paper for a little bit of clearance. Then I could attach the top with four screws. No, no glue here so I can take it apart if I need to. And then on the other side I attach the bottom which is an oversized piece and this allows for a little bit of room to mount this thing to the wall. I then can slide the paper out and as you can see it moves back and forth nice and snug which should give me a nice seal when closed. To mount the blast gates if I don't have any studs to hit I just use a couple drywall anchors and I think that will be plenty strong to hold the gate into place. Then it's just a matter of going down the line and installing all four blast gates. So to use the dust collection I have a three way switch here that I can turn it on from two different locations. So it's just a matter of turning it on and then opening up that blast gate and using it. Now I also added a little short little piece of hose here so you can kind of clean up miscellaneous areas around the saw. For the router table same thing just open up that blast gate but I did add lots of extra hose here so you can clean up around the router table itself. So all in all I'm really happy on this turned out. I wish I had done this a long time ago. Uh, even at the first point which is at the router table I still seem to have lots of suction there and all the blast gates seem to have a pretty good seal. So I hope you guys like this too and if you do leave me a comment and even a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. I'm Ryan Oddwell and thanks for watching.